Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss poles and zeros of the transfer function and we are going to uh, see why and how we use the poles and zeros, namely we are going to uh, consider and explain filter uh, design issue. Uh, therefore, let us uh, just write here that uh, today the main topic of our uh, investigation is going to be uh, poles and zeros of the transfer function. Uh, therefore, we have uh, poles and zeros of the transfer function. of g of z. So this is discrete transfer function and we are looking at the poles and zeros. So we know already for the input output system representation that transfer function that we obtain is nothing by y of z, this is in complex domain, is just a c discrete z i minus phi minus 1 gamma u of z. And this expression here is nothing by rational g of z transfer function. Now, the interesting thing to observe is that what are the characteristics of these uh, transfer functions g of z? g of z can be written as an expression that contains two polynomials, n, of z expression in numerator and expression in denominator. Z. And n of z is polynomial that defines the zeros of the transfer function because zeros of n of z are also zeros of zeros of g of z. In other words, if we evaluate this polynomial n of z at zero root of this polynomial, we also get that transfer function g of z is equal to zero. And analogously, the roots of pi of z are poles of transfer function. Poles of g of z. In other words, if we find the roots of the pi of z polynomial, so we solve pi of z equals zero, those will be the zeros of the pi of z of polynomial. But for the g of z, those are poles. So roots of n of z and roots of p of z are poles of g of z. And this is very interesting to use later on because if we evaluate g of z at at poles, this g of z will become infinite. So, where this notion leads us is to the following uh, very important statement that the linear system preserves the, preserves the feature of the signal transferring through the system. So, if we have a g of z here, I don't know why just smaller, but smaller letter, but and we apply 
subsequence, A of F equals. The claim is that at the output, this is going to be the same sequence. This is a very interesting statement. Multiply by evaluation of this transfer function of G of Z at the A. So, and essentially, if we have a sequence from the left side coming into this transfer function, this linear system transfer, discrete linear system transfer function, the output will be the same sequence, identical sequence, here and here, but just amplified for this term here. Just amplified for this term, which is evaluating this G of Z transfer function at A. And that is why we spoke about the notion of the poles and zeros. So let us essentially demonstrate that. Uh, we know already, let's say that we have a transfer function of y of z is equal z, z minus 0 0.2 U of Z. So this is our G of Z. And we apply input sequence A of N. So A of N sequence, we know when we take a Z transform of the A of N that this is going to be Z, Z minus a such that y of z becomes z z minus 0 0.2 multiplies z z minus a okay in other words this input so this is input sequence this is the Laplace transform of the input sequence, uh, Z transform, sorry, of the input sequence, and we put here as an input to our linear system, and we obtain this. Now we know that we can write this and factor as uh, two polynomials, A z minus 0 0.2 plus p z minus a okay and furthermore we know that a we can obtain as evaluating z z minus 0 0.2 z minus a at z multiply z minus 0 0.2 and evaluate it at z equals 0 0.2 such that a is just 0 0.2 0 0.2 minus a so it's just some coefficient in the same way I will just skip this formal part the b is a divided a minus 0 0.2. We obtain these two coefficients such that finally we obtain that y of z is equal 0 0.2 0 0.2 minus a multiply z z minus 0 0.2 and formally plus a a minus 0 0.2 z z minus a Okay, so here is the A, 
and here is the B. Okay. Therefore, when we apply Z inverse transform, we already recognize the terms here. What are these terms? And we have a discrete representation as Y of K. as 0 0.2 0 0.2 minus a 0 0.2 k plus a a minus 0 0.2 a of k so interestingly now we obtain the solution and now we see the following that if system is stable like in this case this entire term will go to zero as k goes to infinity in other words what will survive is just this term but what is this term this term is nothing but g at a A of K sequence in other words we demonstrated that we when we apply the following input here that is A of K or A of N the output was the same sequence amplified by the gain that is evaluated as a transfer function evaluated at a coefficient a okay so this is very interesting property and later on we are going to use this in the filter design